Hi, Kevin. Thanks for joining us today. For 25 years, HFSC has focused on how home fire sprinklers protect the people who live in their homes and firefighters. NFPA estimates that there are an estimated 1.1 million career and volunteer firefighters in the U.S. 67% of them are volunteer firefighters. We know many volunteer firefighters in our in rural areas where there's a higher response time and lack of water supply, often increasing risk. Home fire sprinklers are vital in these areas. The National Volunteer Fire Council represents the interest of the volunteer fire, EMS, and rescue services. The organization is the voice of the volunteers in the national arena and on the HFSC board. And it's been terrific to have Kevin Quinn representing NVFC on the board. So, so Kevin, again, thank you. Uh, talk about a little bit about how volunteer firefighters are engaged in home fire sprinklers. Well, I want to thank you, uh, Lorraine, and, and certainly congratulate the Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition for 25 years on the anniversary. I've been privileged and honored to be a part of the coalition and uh, representing the volunteers, as you said, 67% of uh, Americans firefighters are volunteers. And, and we have been committed to the Built for Life uh, commitment through the HFSC. We've, we've kind of shared the resources, the, the plentiful of resources that HFSC has. We spread the word on uh, the importance of home fire sprinklers because number one, uh, the, the number of residential deaths we have in America is, is too many. And, and fire sprinklers save lives. And home fire sprinklers certainly help with the residential deaths that we're, we're facing every day. Uh, also, the uh, fact that you mentioned uh, the firefighter injuries and, and deaths that do occur because of uh, working structure fires, and it does put us at risk. As you mentioned, you know, water supply is an issue uh, for rural areas, and uh, it, there's a little bit more of a, a response time for that. So the, the home fire sprinklers are going to be impactful on those residential homes that have protection. So anything we can do to reduce risk for residents and for firefighters and volunteers in particular, the uh, National Volunteer Fire Council is, is behind that for sure. Yeah, and one of the other issues that we're learning more about is the exposure risk. We're learning more every day about the increased risk of cancer to our first responders. And we, we, know, we know if we don't have as many home fires, we've got less exposure. I would imagine that is raising huge concerns for, for the volunteer firefighters as well as, you know, how do they minimize that risk to exposure and the, the cancer that could come from that? Yeah, I, I agree. That's a great point, Lorraine. Uh, we, we, the fire service, have really come together, career, volunteers, the combination departments, probably more than anything else because of cancer in the fire service and those exposures that you're mentioning. And we have worked with the IAFC, the VCOS section, the volunteer combination officers section, and the MVFC, and we put together the Lavender Ribbon Report, which uh, really is 11 best practices to reduce uh, those uh, exposures and, 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 and minimize any kind of additional risk that we're placing on firefighters. So the cancer in the fire service is, is, is just uh, greatly ex expanded in terms of the numbers based on the general population. We face a 9% increase in, in cancer diagnosis mm. as, as firefighters. And in, in terms of uh, cancer related deaths, it's a 14% increase. To, and, and the importance of home fire sprinklers by knocking those fires down before they become that deadly, whether it be for residents or for firefighters, volunteers and career alike, yeah, I, th I think all all around, you know, the volunteer firefighters, we ask them to do a lot in our communities. They're responding to a lot of hazards. And if we can minimize their risk, minimize their exposure by increasing the use of home fire sprinklers, they'll be safer. Their communities will be safer. So it, it's a win all around. And we really appreciate the support of you and NVFC as we move forward with the next 25 years and beyond to make sure that we're protecting our communities and our first responders. I think it's important to know that, I mean, the 
as the NVFC, we are the voice of the volunteers and, and volunteers are your neighbors helping others. And, and those neighbors come in all forms and, and likes of uh, careers, their, their own paying jobs, but they give up so much and dedicate so much. And we appreciate each and every one of them for what they do. But we also have to let them realize that there are other means such as home fire sprinklers that will help protect them their, their communities and their families. So we wanna push that message out to all volunteer fire service leaders and departments and, and make that movement even bigger. Uh, 25 years has been wonderful and we've done great work on the, as a coalition, but there's so much more work to do. And, and I think knowing that uh, the volunteer fire service is behind the Home Fire Speaker Coalition is, is, is a, a message that has to continue on and spread like wildfire, if you will. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. You could, I couldn't have said it any better. Thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for the work of all the volunteers across this country. And we appreciate all of your efforts to move our work forward. All right, well, thank you, Lorraine, and thank you to the Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition. I, I truly enjoy the time we spend together and the work we do together. So thank you so much. Thank you.